Welcome, in front of me is a Realme 6 Pro and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the do not disturb mode. So to get started let's pull down the notification panel and at least for me the do not disturb mode is located on the second page right over here. So before you tap on it to enable it you want to hold it and this will take us to the settings. Um, now we have obviously the enable now switch but we should first start off by actually changing the exception settings. So right now I have allow exceptions, allow notifications. So if we go in here, we have different notification settings, uh, things like badges, uh, banners, uh, sounds. So you can choose whichever one you want here. And if you want to overly allow them at all. Um, and also we have messages. Uh, now both messages and calls will have the same options. So I'll just go over one. Uh, but you have allow from anyone, from contacts only, from favorite contacts only, and just deny everybody. So you can choose for either both for calls and messages, different settings. I'm gonna go with something like favorite contacts. And then the last option, repeat, now ring for repeated callers, which will allow you to still receive a call no matter what the setting for calls is. So if I am denying everybody and I enable this, uh, if anybody calls me twice within a three minute period, they will actually be able to reach me. And this is a good option to have in terms of emergency. So even though normally you would not be notified about it, they will still be able to reach you if they really need to call you. They usually call twi more people, meaning uh, call more than twice within a three minute period. Uh, it's like one after another. So this will allow whoever uh, reached you. And Apart from that, you also have a schedule settings. So you can set a specific schedule so it turns on, on and off automatically. You can tap on the plus to add your own and enter a name so you can name it whatever you want. Start time, uh, change it to whatever you want. Oops, I didn't actually finish setting it up. Um, let's go back, then end. So again, set it to whatever you want and then repeat so you have all the days of the weeks and you can change it to whatever days you want it to work in so as an example i can do something like this confirm it and then tap on done and automatically becomes enabled and it will turn on on itself if the time is correct for it to be on and once it reaches 7 pm it will turn off so let's see if right now it's on a Either it's 6 in the morning on this device or 6 p.m. not really sure uh, if it's set to 24 but assuming it would be 6 uh, 45 p.m. that would mean that it would turn off in 15 minutes but that's how you would set up a schedule and you can still enable and disable it manually by going into notifications and simply tapping on it turn on and there we go now it's turned on but keep in mind that once it's turned on manually you will also have to turn it off yourself as well. So that is how you would use this option and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.